Greetings. In this video, we shall show you how to define a rather complex experiment using the DO interface. So in this experiment, we make use of two nodes, that is the client and the server. And each node makes use of the iperf command. But before we can make use of the iperf command, we need to ensure we install the iperf tool on each of these nodes. So let us define the experiment using the textual approach first. So in this scenario, we want the server node to install iperf. And once it's installed, we emit a signal that is as done. It stands for server done. Similarly, we want the client to install iperf. Let's call this iperf2. And we emit C done. It stands for client done. Now, when the installation process is completed on both the server and the client, we want the server to use the iperf command. And once that is done, we want the client to use the iperf command too. So we type in when as done, comma c done. It implies that when iperf is installed on both the server and the client, we want the server to perform the action to start server. And when start server has begun, we want to emit ss done. And the next line would be when we receive the signal ss done, we want the client to perform the action start client. So now we have the nodes client and server ready. Now we need a link to exist between the server and the client. So we type in link server client. Now that we have our basic topology ready, we need to ensure our bindings are defined too. So our install iperf1 command represents sudo apt get install iperf hyphen y so install iperf1 is the action that gets executed on the server similarly on the client side we want install iperf2 to represent sudo apt get install iperf hyphen y so now we we have the two actions defined, that is install iperf1 and install iperf2. Now, we need to define what start client and start server mean. So here, start server implies iperf-s and start client implies iperf-c server hyphen t dollar time where the dollar symbol can be used to indicate a variable and this variable can be defined when you run the experiment on the test pad so now that we have the bindings defined for our actions we also need to define the bindings for our trigger events that is s done c done and ss done so your s done represents the success of install perf1 because we want s done to be emitted only after install perf i perf1 is completed similarly c done represents p success install i perf2 now the final emit event that is ss done should imply that the start server command exists on the server node so when the start server command has begun or has started execution on the server at the same time we want the client to perform the action start client 
So in that case, S is done should imply P exists start server. So there you have it. We, ha we have defined the complex experiment on the new interface. Now, if you have a look at a dependency graph, you can see that install iperf1 and install iperf2 are parallel. And when both s done and c done events are emitted, we perform the action start server. And once start server emits the event ss done, we perform the action start client. And the yellow nodes correspond to the server node and the orange nodes correspond to the client node. Now that we have defined the experiment using the textual approach, let us define the very same experiment using the graphical approach. So let us clear the scenario and constraints and save the file. Now let us begin the same process of defining the complex experiment, this time using the graphical approach. So we first add the client node, then we add the server node. And then we add a link between the client and the server. So hold the spacebar, click on client, drag a mouse, and release a mouse button on the server node. Now we have a link between the client and the server. Now that the topology is set up, we need to define the actions. For this experiment, let us define the actions using the dependency graph. As you can see, there are no actions present at this moment. So click on add action and define an action for the client. Now, for this case, the client should install iperf1 and your action binding can be sudo app get install iperf hyphen y and your emit event can be c done and your event binding can be p success install iperf1 and then click on add now do the same thing but for the server node right now your actor is server your action name should be install iperf2 binding should be sudo app get install iperf hyphen y and then your emit event can be s done and your event binding to be p success install iperf2 so right now you can see the two actions are added and if you ever look at the textual representation, you can see the appropriate syn syntax that is attached to the scenario, constraints, and the bindings. Now, you need to run the experiment using the iperf commands on the client and the server. So, we go back to the dependency graph and we add the actions. So, in this case, we want the server to run the action start server and our binding in this case would be iperf s and we want this action to be to be executed only after your c done and s done events are emitted so we press the control button or the command button on a mac and we click on both the trigger events and once start server has begun execution we need to emit the event ss done and your event binding in this case would be pxs start server then click on add similarly we want the client to run the action start client with the binding hyperf fnc Server hyphen t dollar time. A dollar time is a variable that can be defined when you run the experiment on the test bed. 
So your trigger for this action is SS done. And then we just click on that. So there you have it. You have the actions defined for this experiment where install iperf installs the iperf command or the tool on the client and the server and start server is executed once the iperf tool is installed on both the server and the client and once the start server action has begun execution we also run the action start client on the client if you go back to the textual representation you can see the appropriate syntax attached to the scenario constraints and bindings so there you have it this is how you define a rather complex experiment using the do interface thank you